my church. Shalom. Shalom to the house of Israel. What you're looking at is the sons of the true and living power. Our mission tonight is to bring Jacob again unto the Most High. Because for too long we've been counted for nothing and for too long we've been counted for madness. See, the problem is with a lot of us black folks, a lot of us Negroes are, you love the white man and you hate your own people. That's why we come to the middle of the hood to tell you to stop shooting down your brother, stop sleeping around, stop smoking cigarettes, stop doing drugs, you tell us so what, right? But a lot of you women are gonna be put to death like the minister said, man. That's right. A lot of y'all gonna, y'all gonna be put to death for that, man. You have no idea what you up against. You telling the prophets to shut up. You telling them to get out of here. Let me live my life. But guess what? God is gonna get you. That's right. God is gonna get you. He's recording everything that you have done to him, man. And, and, and to his prophets. So it's, it's wise that you watch, watch your lips, man. Give me Colossians 3 and 17. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 3 and verse 17. Uh -huh. And whatsoever you do, in word or deed, right. do all in the name of Mashiach Yahushai, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Right, so everything we do, we do in the name of, in the name of Mashiach Yahushai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, right? Because a lot of you go to church on Sundays, but let me ask you a question. Why, why don't your pastor come out here, man? When's the last time you seen your Sunday church pastor come to the middle of the hood, come to Franklin Park, and tell y'all people to stop shooting each other down? There's a vigil that's right behind this sign right here, man. When's the last time they came out here and told you, stop shooting your brother down, man? This is the third, fourth person we done seen got killed in the last six months. So what are we going to do? Are we going to change? Or are we going to keep continuing to live the same way? A lot of you are mad about the George Floyd incident. A lot of you upset because the police shot him. But what about when you, what you do to your own brother, man? What about when you kill your own brother? What about that, sis? Right? Do you feel sorry for your own people? Do you feel sorry for your brother? Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh-huh. But it shall come to pass, right. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, right. to observe, to do all his commandments. Hold on. Hey, brother, let me ask you a question, man. Do you feel like the black man is living fairly in America? Uh, no. Why not? Do, let me ask you a question. Do you feel like we live on the bottom of the earth right now? Are we living on the top of the earth right now? Right? That's not true, man. That's not true. What about you, sis? Do you feel sorry what, what goes on with the black man? Right? You don't got time for us? You don't got time for your own people? And that's the problem, man. That's the problem. Give me uh, one first Maccabees 1 and 11. That's the problem. You don't care about your own people. You don't love your people, man. Y'all should. All y'all do is show fake love, man. All y'all do is y'all capping. Y'all capping, man. Give me that. First Maccabees 1 and 11. This is the book of First Maccabees, chapter 1 and verse 11. Right. In those days... Went there out of Israel, uh -huh. wicked men. Wicked what? Wicked men. Wicked men and women. Read on. Who persuaded many, uh -huh. saying, "Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen." And that's why you hate your brother because you made that covenant with the heathen. You made that forever covenant that I'm gonna love the white man. I'm gonna love the Chinese. I'm gonna love the Japanese. But what about your own people, man? You look at your you look at your brother like he's nothing. But you know why? It's because you look in the mirror and you feel like you're nothing. When you look at your brother, man, you should be seeing yourself, man. You should be seeing yourself, right? What about you, brother? Do, don't you want to see the black man rise to the top and live on the top, right? So how do we rob the high places on the earth? Let me show you out of the scriptures, man. Give me uh, Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 13. That's right, that's right. I'm going to show you how to rob the high places of the earth, man. Joel Osteen not going to teach us this. T.D. Jake's not going to teach us this. You know why? They're in it for the money. That's why. That's we right. don't want your money, brother. We say this every week. We are young brothers, man. We could be doing anything in the world, but what are we doing? Teaching our people in Franklin Park. Right? So give me Isaiah 58 and 13. I'm going to show you how to ride the high places tonight, brother. Read that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse 13. Uh-huh. If thou turn away thy foot... 
from the Sabbath, uh -huh. from doing thy pleasures, from doing thy own work, doing what you want to do, read on, on my holy day. He read it. And call the Sabbath a delight. If you call the Sabbath day a delight, read on, and shall honor him, not doing thy own ways, not doing your own work, read on, nor finding thy own pleasure, doing your own pleasure, read on, nor speaking thy own words. He read it. Then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord. He read it. And I will cause thee, I will cause you, the so-called black man, the so-called Hispanic man, the so-called Native American, read on. To ride. To ride, read on. Upon high places of the earth. To ride upon the high places of the earth. Right now, we are riding the low places of the earth. Franklin Park is a low place of the earth. Daniel Beach is a low place of the earth. Overtown is a low place of the earth. So to ride the high places, we got to keep the Sabbath day. Now, brother, my question is to you, what is the Sabbath day? Do you know? Right? So let's get it. Let me show you what the Sabbath day is, man. Let me get Leviticus chapter 23. Because these are the simple things we got to go back and read, man. We lost our heritage. But the problem is we disobeyed God. That's why he sent these nations against us, man. That's why George Floyd can die for the whole world to see. That's why Trayvon Martin can die for the whole world to see. That's why Eric Gardner can die for the whole world to see. Because the Most High sent these people against us, man. Read what you got. Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 3. Uh -huh. Six days shall work be done. Uh -huh. But the seventh day uh -huh. is the Sabbath of rest. Is the what? Is the Sabbath of rest. Now, brother, what is the seventh day? What day of the week is the seventh day? Nine. No, that's not true. Nine. No, because when you look at the calendar, you'll see the first day of the week starts on Sunday. Sunday is the first day of the week. The seventh day is Saturday. So read that again. Six days shall work be done. Six days shall work be done. Meaning you could do, you could, you could go out and work for hire. Right? Read on. But the seventh day, the seventh day, read on, is the Sabbath of rest. That's the Sabbath of rest. That's the day that God gave us. Read on. It's holy convocation. It's a holy convocation. What does that mean? It means a separate gathering. The holy day is a separate gathering, man. That's what we're supposed to be doing on the Sabbath day. Right? Read on. Ye shall do no work therein. You can't do no work therein, brother. Right? So we just read, if you want to ride the high places of the earth, you got to keep the Sabbath. How do you keep the Sabbath? You come to the Holy Convocation. Brother, what's going on across the street? We talked to you a, a, like 10,000 times, man. When you going to come through? Right? You keep telling me, you still got the chain on? Did you take it off? You took it off? Hallelujah. Now what chain you going to put up on the neck now? Nothing. Right? You got to put a shield of David on that thing, man. Right? You got to worship the most high in truth and sincerity, man. We come out here to erase the wicked lies that we have been taught. Give me Isaiah 58 and 1. Right? We come out here to show our people what's really good in the hood, man. Because, uh, listen, a lot of people, when you read the Bible, a lot of people hated the prophets. That's right. A lot of people hated them, man. They hated John. They hated Paul. Right? So what you think? What do we think? Who are we? We know, we know y'all gonna be uh, be mad at what we got to say. We know y'all upset, but listen, the truth hurts. I'm here to tell you the truth, whether you like it, believe it or not. Right? That's real love. So read what you got, man. Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. Uh-huh. Cry aloud. Do what? Cry aloud. Do what? Cry aloud. You gotta cry aloud. Read on. Spare now. I can't spare your feelings. Read on. Lift up. Thy voice like a trumpet. So I gotta lift up my voice like a trumpet, man. Why? So you can hear me. Right, read on. And show my people. Show my people, the Israelites, the true Jews, according to the Bible. Read on. Their transgressions. Their transgressions. And since you gotta repent, man. Since you gotta repent, why don't you put on a dress, man? Where's your husband? Right? Where's your husband? Right? A lot of you, a lot of you women just wanna, yeah, oh, you upset, you mad. For what? Because we told you to put on a dress? We told you don't wear tight clothes, and you wonder why we out here dying, man. You wonder why we out here dying. Give me um um three children in the Apocrypha, chapter one and verse five. Holy children, come, right? <laughs> come, come, songs of the come, come. <laughs> Hallelujah.
right? It's an apocrypha. Right. So, so, yeah, you, you, man, hey, listen, hey, sis, 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 are you mad? Is she upset? What do we say wrong? Do we not tell you the truth? Do we not tell you the truth? You said, you said what? You said what? Okay, what do you think, what do you think we doing out here? You didn't even take the time to listen. She, give, hold on, give me Proverbs 7 and 11. Give me Proverbs 7 and 11. This is the problem, hold on, wait, sis. This is the problem, this is the problem with a lot of you black women. This is the problem right here, I'm gonna show you something. Let me go to the Bible and show you your transgression, man. Read that. This is the book of Proverbs. Uh -huh. Chapter 7 and verse 11. Let me read it. She is loud. She is what? She, she is loud. loud. She is what? She is loud. She is what? She is loud. Let me read it. And stubborn. And what? And stubborn. And what? And stubborn. And stubborn. she won't listen. She thinks she know it all. She thinks she got it all together. She thinks she too smart for her own damn good, man. Right? But a lot of you women are leading our young sisters to be whores and harlots, man. And we don't stand for that. We don't stand for that. We stand for our women to be modest. We stand for our women to be holy and separate. Not to be loud. We teach our women to love their husbands and to love their children and to take care of your household. Why aren't these grown women home? Right? Why aren't they home? What they doing? They go to and fro up the street. It's 12 o'clock at night, man. Where your kids at? Where your kids at? That's right. Don't you got don't you got dinner to be prepared? Why don't you go clean your house or something, man? Why don't you go teach your children, man? We can read it, man. Her feet are by not in her house. What is this? What the scripture said about this woman right here? Her feet are by not in her house. Why does she keep talking like that? Her feet are by not in her house. Why does she think she know it all? Her feet are by not in her house. Does she have a husband? Her feet are by not in her house. Titus, Titus 2 and 3. This is the book of Titus. See, chapter 2 and verse 3. The A. Hold that. Give me James 119. Give me James 119. Give me James 119. Because all you doing is talking. All you got to shut. Listen, you got to shut your lips. You got to keep quiet for one second, sis. Keep quiet for one second. Right, read what you got, man. James 119. James 119. This is the book of James, chapter 1 and verse 19. Before my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear. This woman be swift to hear, right? Slow to speak. 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 Not his tongue. And she can't keep her tongue. She can't keep her mouth shut. Read on. But the thing is his own heart. You deceive your own heart, sis. You think he read it. This man's religion is in vain. Yo, whatever you believe in, we know it's vain. Right? Because you got no God. You got no hope. You don't have nobody at home. That's why you keep yelling. You, you're a lonely woman, right? You're a lonely woman. Come on, man. Keep yeah, read that, man. This is the book read of Titus. Chapter 2 and verse 3. Uh-huh. The age woman, the age woman, the age woman. The what? The age woman. Is this lady right here? The age woman. The age woman, we know. Likewise. Uh-huh. That they be in behavior as become holiness. Be in behavior as to become holiness. You need to be separate, man. You need to be holy, we know. Not false accusers. Not false accusers, we know. Not giving too much wine. You got to stop drinking so much. That's what you want your damn mind, we know. Teachers of good things. Yeah, we teachers of what? Teachers of good things. No, you gotta be out here to and fro on the earth. Teachers of good things. No, you gotta be slipping around. Teachers of good things. No, you gotta show up your asset. 
teachers on good things. You gotta be teachers of good things. That's why a lot of these women are whoring themselves out. Because of women like you. Look how you're dressed, man. Look how you're dressed. Keep reading. That, the, that they may teach the younger women. Uh huh. To be sober. To be what? To be sober. To be what? To be sober. Not to be drunk and high. To be sober. You gotta be sober, man. Keep reading. To love their husband. To love what? To love their husband. Maybe if you stayed home, you would know how to love your husband. To love their children. To love their children. That's what's wrong with Franklin Park. You don't love your children. That's right. Go home and teach them some good things, man. See, a lot of you women want to be, y'all want to be rebellious. This is what y'all want to be, right? This is what y'all want to be? This is who you striving to be? Megan the Stallion, right? The city girls. Right? This is who y'all trying to be? Let me tell you something, man. This is no good. And this is not good in the eyes of the Most High, man. That's right. This is not good in the sight of the Most High. You got to teach your young children to love their husbands, to be good, to be a good woman, right? A lot of you women are out your mind, man. You guys got to get it together. You got to get it together. Go back to Titus 2 and 3. what you got up verse 4 that they may teach the young woman to be sober uh -huh. to love their husband right to love their children uh-huh to be discreet to be what to be discreet to be what to be discreet you can't be all loud out here in the streets man to be discreet right read off chase keepers at home chase and keepers at home not keepers at the corner store with ishmael right you see, you, you're a grown woman, and you're chilling on the streets at night, this late at night, man. This is the type of woman we got to look forward to, man. This is what we doing. This is the type of woman we got to be with. You think that you got a little shape, that, that you, you know it all, that the Most High won't judge you? Give me Proverbs 122, man. Proverbs 122. The Most High going to set you straight. Don't worry about it. The most I gonna set you straight. This thing angers me, man. It angers me. Because then they wanna know, they wanna know why, why George Floyd getting killed. They wanna know why Trayvon Martin getting killed. They wanna know why Sandra Bland getting killed. It's because a woman like this, man. Maybe if you taught your kids to stay home, man, and be teachers of good things. You're not teachers of good things. Read what you got. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter one and verse 22. Uh-huh. How long? Ye simple ones, uh -huh. when ye love simplicity, right? And the scorn is delight in their scorning. Uh -huh. And fools hate knowledge. And what? And fools hate knowledge. And what? And fools hate knowledge. See, that's the problem, man. You hate knowledge. You hate the love of the Most High. You hate to keep the commandments. You actually despise the Most High when you go against His commandments, man. See, you're you're you are lovers of evil things, man. You are lovers of this world. We're not of this world, man. That's right. Right? We're not of this world. I know you're not used to seeing black men still on their feet, but guess what? We're here. The prophets are back, man. And we're going to establish order in this earth. We're going to establish righteousness in this earth. Come. Come. Ho Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. Uh -huh. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Uh -huh. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. Because you reject knowledge, the most I gonna reject you, man. Right? You think you go to church, you think God love you, right? You think God love you when he takes your home, right? You're homeless on the street, you lose your job because of COVID-19, right? See, a lot of you don't understand what's really going on, man. A lot of you are, you guys are, 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 are asleep. And we come out here to wake up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the real Jews according to the Bible And we must act as such We are royalty in the earth We are gold to the most high Right? We belong to the most high Right? Hallelujah Right? See she, she mad me She talking about why we don't talk about George We are talking about George Floyd Her actions are directly Related to George Floyd's incident That's what you don't understand we get punished as a nation, that's what you don't understand. When we come out here and tell our women to dress modestly, that's what we mean. I said what I said. That's the, that's the, the most high, man. 
What are you mad about? Because we tell the black man and the black woman to get along? For the woman to act righteously, treat her man good, and for the man to treat his woman good? Right? If you, if you, listen, if you come out in the streets and you, you, you advertising yourself, what you think that man gonna think about you, man? That man don't got no respect for you. That man don't have no respect for you. If that man let you come out with your thighs all out, your cleavage showing, That's right. that man don't love you. That's right. right? Read what you got, brother. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the most high thy power. And the most high thy power have chosen thee to be a special people uh -huh. unto himself. To be a what? To be a special people. To be a what? To be a special people. To be a special people, sister. That's what we're telling you. That you are a special sister. Right? But you mad at us for what? Why are you laughing at us? You should be laughing at yourself, man. Because that is a joke. That is a joke. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3, man. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. Because the problem is, a lot of you don't, know, don't even know where you come from. If you don't know where you come from, I guarantee you, you don't know where you're going. Right? That's why we out here like this, man. Everybody look, look at us like the laughing stock of the earth. Right? Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. Uh -huh. The ox knoweth his owner. Uh -huh. The donkeys his master crib. Uh -huh. But Israel. But who? But Israel. But, who? but Israel. Read on. Do it. No, uh -huh. my people do it not consider. Right, right. Our people don't even consider that madness, man. Right, you don't, you don't consider where you from. How, how do, you, how are you, 35, 45 years old, and you never even question where you come from? How are you, 25, 30 years old? You say what? What's up? I'll be 30. You'll be 30. So where do you come from? You come from any brother? No, Saint Lucia. Saint Lucia? How did you get to Saint Lucia? On the plane. On the plane? Yeah. So where'd you come from before that? Uh, I was raised right here. Though. You was raised right here. So you're yeah. so-called African American. Been, so okay. So you listen. Well, on. do you know what we out here doing, brother? What y'all doing? Give me bro? Isaiah 495. I'm gonna show you, brother. Give me five seconds. Let me show you what we doing, man. What we out here to do is gather the children of Israel, which you are, man. Because what? We lost our heritage after slavery, right? We lost everything when we went into slavery. Now we speak another language. We don't know how to get along with our woman. The woman don't know how to get along with her man. We grow without our father. You just admit it. That, that's in the scriptures, brother. How many black men in America grow without their fathers, man? Right? What I'm trying to tell you is that is, that is a curse. Read what you got, man. Yeah, come. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 5. Uh -huh. And now save the Lord uh -huh. that formed me from the womb. Now save the Lord that formed all of us from the womb. Read on. To be his servant. To be a servant of the of the heavenly father, read on. To bring Jacob again. Who? To bring Jacob. To bring who? To bring Jacob again. Do you know who Jacob is? Jacob is the progenitor of the 12 tribes of Israel, man. Right? We are the we are we are the service of the heavenly father. We are. To him. To who? To him. To the most high. Can you read it? Though Israel be not gathered, right. ye shall, ye shall I, yes, shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord. Right, so we're glorious in the eyes of the Lord, even though we've been scattered, brother. Give me De Deuteronomy 28 and 15, right? Because what did the most high say? Why do we go in slavery? You believe in God, right? I know you do, right? So why did God send us in slavery? Do you know? Right? Because everybody that's, think God. I know that's what we've been through. Right. Everybody yeah. thinks God is a goo goo ga ga god, man. Nah, nah, God is God is a terrible he's, power. He's powerful. He's powerful. Right? Yeah. He kills people. You know that, right? Yeah, I know that. He abuses people. You know that, right? Yeah. yeah he brings them down to the ground. You know that, right? Yeah, of course. So read what you got. Deuteronomy 28 15, man. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh huh. But it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Read on. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power. So this is Moses talking to the children of Israel. It says, if you do not listen unto the voice of the Lord thy God, read on. To observe, uh -huh. to do all his commandments. To do, do and keep the commandments. Read on. And statutes which I command thee this he, day. He read it. That all these curses, all these what? All, all these, these curses, what? All, all these, what? All all these what? curses, all these curses, read on. Shall come upon thee. Shall come upon thee, the children of Israel, read on. And overtake thee. And overtake thee. Now when you read verse 15 through 68, it lists all the curses that the children of Israel be going through. Let me name some of them for you. Give me verse 54. 
Right, because you just said something very powerful. That's how I know you're a Jew, man. 54. 28 and 54. Uh-huh. So that the man that is tender among you uh -huh. is very delicate. He's, we were once very delicate. The black man used to look at another black man and say, man, that's my brother, man. I love him. Yeah. Keep reading. His eye uh -huh. shall be evil toward his brother. So we got black on black crime, Hispanics killing Hispanics, man. Right, read on. And toward the wife of his bosom. Toward the wife of his bosom. Keep reading. And toward the remnant of his children. Of the children. Read on. Which he shall leave. This is why we don't have fathers in our household. Because this is a curse. Give me verse 68. Let me show you another curse. Verse 68. Uh-huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Uh-huh. He said he's going to bring us into Egypt again. What does the word Egypt mean? Hold that. Give me the book of Exodus chapter 20. Hold that. What does the word Egypt mean in the scriptures? Because a lot of people get tripped up by that. Right? It says, what is the what does the word Egypt mean? Give me that, man. Right? Huh? The pyramids. Right, that's what we, we built. The Jews, the Jews were kept in slavery in Egypt. We built those pyramids. We want you Exodus got, chapter 20 and verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy power, uh -huh. which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Hey, read it. Out of the house of bondage. So the word Egypt is synonymous with the words house of bondage, right? So pay attention, stay with me. Go back to verse 68 and do the wrong. Verse 68. Uh-huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. To the house of bondage again. Read off. With ships. With what? With ships. With what? With ships. With ships. What other people went into slavery by ships? We're the only people on this planet that went into slavery by ships. Into the house of bondage. We went to South America. We went to North America. We went to Australia. We went to everywhere on this planet, right? Keep reading. By the way whereof I speak unto thee. Meaning he prophesied it a long time ago. Keep reading. Thou shall see it no more. He said we'll never see our homeland again, which is Israel. Keep reading. No more again. Uh -huh. Keep reading. And there ye shall be sold. And you'll be what? So be what? So be what? So the black man sold into slavery. Keep reading. Unto your enemies. Unto our own. Unto oh, their enemies. enemies. Who was the black man sold unto when we stepped foot off those slave ships? Huh? The white man. The white man. The white man, right? Keep reading. And no man uh -huh. shall buy you. And no man shall save us out of that captivity. That's right. No man shall save us. Nah, but God. But God. Yeah, God. But what do we have to do first? We have to return. We have to return to, um, to the Most High. We have to return to the Most High. How do you return to the Most High? Repent. Come on, come on. Repent. Jeremiah 315. You, you got it right, brother. Repent. Yeah, repent. What does repent mean, though? Repent means to convert your soul and stop doing your wicked ways. You got to do the ways of the Most High. You can't be of this world and be of God at the same time. God don't work like that. God does not work like that because what? The wicked run this earth right now. So read what you got, Jeremiah 315. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3 and verse 14. Come. Turn, O backsliding children. It says what? Turn, O backsliding children. It says turn, O backsliding children. Read on. Saith the Lord. Uh-huh. I am married unto you. Uh-huh. And I will take you, one of a city. It says the Most High said he's married unto the children of Israel. And he's going to gather us one out of the city. Read on. And two of a family. Right, two of a family. So he's going to be gathering little remnants of us, the people that are striving to keep the Most High's commandments. The people that are striving to keep the Most High's laws. Because what? This is what counts us as holy people, man. Right? Holy people. Right, exactly. Right? I'm going to show you one more before I let you go. Give me Deuteronomy uh, 10 and 12. Right? Brother, this is, let me tell you something. This is very powerful stuff that yeah, we're doing, man. man. You're trying to get to me a little bit, bro. Right? Yeah. You're going gonna to be good. Don't worry about it, brother. Yeah. See, you need to come to the school and get around the, get around the like, uh, like minded men. Right? You got to be around your brothers, brother. Uh huh. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Uh huh. And now, say of Israel, uh huh. What doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? So, my brother, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? Right? Read on. But to fear the Lord thy God. To fear the Lord thy God, read on. To walk in all his ways. To walk in all his ways, read on. And to love him. And to what? And, and to, to love, love him. How do you love God, brother? I read the Bible. I'm going to show you, but let's, let's, believe in God. yeah, let's see what the Bible says about loving God, though, brother. Because we can't go off our own understanding. Let's see what the Bible says about it, right? Give me, give me 1 John 5 and 3. 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3, right? This is serious stuff we're dealing with, brother. It's the book of First John, chapter 5, and verse 3. Uh -huh. For this is love. For this is what? For, For this, this is love. For this is what? 
For this is love. For this is the love of God. Right? Read on. For this is the love of God. Uh -huh. That we keep his commandments. That we break his commandments. That, that we, we keep, keep his commandments. commandments. We, we just don't do them anymore. That, that we, we keep, keep his commandments. That we keep his commandments. Read on. And his commandments are not grievous. And his commandments are not hard to do. All right. I know I said last one. I got this is the last one, brother. I promise. Ecclesiastes uh, 12 and 13. Last one, brother. Right? To, to listen, tomorrow, brother, listen, we have service tomorrow. Come through. C come through. That's brother. right. We start at 12 o'clock, right? We got Hebrew class going on. We got a lot of information that we bring out of this Bible in detail and in depth. Right? Right? Sunday, Sunday we have a high holy day. We're going to have food. We're going to have drinks. Right, you're gonna see a lot more pe people that look like us. We right down the street, right down the street. The address is on that flyer, 2937 Westboro Boulevard. Right? Before I let you go, last scripture, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 13. Uh huh. Read on. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So what is the conclusion of the whole matter tonight? What are we out here for? Why do we come to Franklin Park? Read what you got. Fear God. Do what? Fear God. Do what? Fear God. Do what? Fear God. What does this sister got to do? Fear God. And keep his commandments. And keep his commandments, sister and brother. That's what we are here to do. We show you, we're showing you how to get out of the captivity. Showing you how to get out of the bondage. Right? We're trying to prevent death from happening unto you. Right? So with that being said, I'm going to say shalom to the house of Israel and hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. That's it, that's it, that's it.